Here's our monthly update on the progress we have made. Today, let's focus on Pimax Play and at the end of the video, a bit about quality control. First, Pimax Play. We now see this as its own product rather than just a driver for our headsets. And this change in mindset is good because it helps us put more thought, focus and manpower on Pimax Play and improving our software. And we also see that a lot of innovations in VR are actually coming from software. First, let's look at how we gather feedback and plan features. We of course have an idea how to develop our headsets, but we really co-create them with our users. And this includes software. So what does that mean? First, we're always in touch with community. And that means Discord, Reddit, sometimes email or WhatsApp but also offline with our roadshows and sometimes customers visit our office here. We have a lot of notification overload on our phones and laptop, but that's okay because we enjoy it. And also you, you can really join our Discord and Reddit and really be part of product development. Secondly, we do a monthly customer survey in which we ask for feedback. This is a more formal but data-driven way for us to see not just which features people would like to see, but also how many people think that way. Third, we organize focus groups in our office and we have multiple beta groups online with users testing new features before they go public. And then we have a daily meeting, and we call this the Basils meeting. Previously, it was quite hard for every department to know exactly how our users were feeling about our products. But right now we have this meeting where we can share user feedback with all relevant departments, from shipping to packaging to hardware and software. So your voice is really heard. Then this creates a priority list. So let's take a look at what we have done recently. Features we have added. The desktop feature. This, you can combine with Fast Pass Through, which should launch at the end of last year. It's really easy to watch YouTube in your VR headset or switch between a forum and then a game, for instance, to do car settings in iRacing. Press and hold the Pi button on your controller to recenter your position. There is a room-like frequency setting for better inside tracking performance. We added the support for non-local dimming version and trackers battery are shown inside Pimax Play. Yeah, I know. It only talks a while. For usability improvements, we have added a Japanese language option. We have clarified the naming of features and their toe tips. And user can now go into a single decimal for each setting. Then improvements and bug fixes. The audio for the default speakers has been greatly improved. The inside out tracking is even more accurate now. There are also stability fixes. For dozens of scenarios, if the headset has been idle for a while, or the OTA update speed or stability. Not just for crystal light, but also crystal. Let's show it with labels. That's what we did. Now, let's look ahead. New features are coming. Upscaling is coming to the crystal light, and it is an enormous performance boost while still maintaining great ratios. This is also coming to the original crystal, but later. Then, we are currently developing and testing Crystal Super Protocol, which will also use Pimax Play. The 60G protocol and firmware have been finished, but extensive beta testing is still needed. Then, we are still improving in some areas. Pimax developed and maintains its own SLAM algorithm for 6 degrees of freedom tracking. Not many companies develop this on their own. We are still finding some areas and situations to improve this. Plus, we are now also cross-testing this with an OptiTrack system to see if we can find any inaccuracies. Then, we are aware that some original Crystal users have an audio delay issues. We are solving that. We are also tweaking the local dimming values after user feedback. Then, of course, we are fixing bugs. But for this, we need your help. PC gaming contains thousands of variables, from CPUs to GPUs to games and more. If you have encountered any bug, please contact us. And please include a log from Prime Expert, otherwise it's very hard for us to solve it. We got some bigger plans we can share later, such as a revised virtual identity of Prime Expert, and more details concerning runtime we cannot share now. And then lastly, quality control. In the previous months, we have repeatedly said we're spending more time on quality control and that this is one of the reasons why our shipping was slower than we initially planned. But just to share one number. 
the RMA amount has been decreased by over 95%. So that's it. Thank you.